Ah, it's the Doherty juice. Wow. All from this thing right there. Hmm. Does it still drip? Can you cut? Yeah. It sure is windy up here. This tree's getting blown back and forth like it's nobody's business. sitting on a palm frond right now. I had no idea they were so strong and it's kind of... But, gotta trust the palm frond. You see that? Yeah. That is juice. The drip? The juice. Juice. Whoa, what a karebe. Whoa, what karebe. Yeah. Ah, grappa. Mm. My dirty. Hmm. And on Kang Kang. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Fresh Doherty. Grappa Yakan. So, this Doherty juice here, it's hands down the best ever liquid I've ever tasted. It's full of like vitamins and I think vitamin C, and it's so good. And it comes straight. I've never seen it before anywhere else. It's not like regular coconut juice. It's it's uh, what the coconut tree um, ex expels or extracts into the into the coconuts themselves before they're even coconuts. So it's just so good. My favorite drink ever, hands down. Sunday the 13th of January. We're rolling. We're rolling. Sunday, January 13th. Just came out for a little troll. We wanted some uh, poke for dinner. Aaron spotted some birds. We started headed towards them and boom, Cameron hooks up. Hopefully, let's it's see. tuna. Let's see what we got. Cameron's craving some poke for Oh, food. I would love some Aaron's. <laughs> Aaron's professionally made Foodland Pokey. <laughs> Aaron's Foodland Pokey on its way. Oh, yeah. We, we all this fish. Right. Another oh no. There's no 
dolphins. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddies? How you going? I almost touched you. Just out here, we found the shipwreck right there. It's actually quite big. It goes all the way down there to the propellers. And then we already showed you that shot. But there's more over here. And uh, Aaron over here was looking for some treasure. What do you find there, Aaron? Some gold pipe. Whoa. Gold. Going out rich out of this treasure hunt. Fanning Island <laughs> treasure hunters. Fanning Island treasure hunters. Up, take it to the antiques roadshow, see how much I'll get for it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. Pulling in the anchor. Got our dive gear. Aaron. And Fish. our friend, the Ono. Not quite sure what that is. I speculate it looks like something bidding. But, uh, it's kind of gnarly. Yeah, it is pretty gnarly. Cameron, what do you got there? Got uh, that definitely head. looks like a. Oh, oh no no. The head shake right here is the spot. What do you think of this action? <laughs> Round two, actually the third. Round catch three, of the day. we caught a released one. He's rolling. He's rolling? He's rolling. What kind of fish can do that damage? Oh not my. just right there, but look at that. There's not much left of that skirt. Not we much. Just completely chewed it up. We had two fish clear of the water entirely by a couple of feet. It was pretty epic. Yeah, that was cool. What do we have in the boat, Cameron? Look at this bad boy. Caught my first Ono. Oh no, it's delicious. This thing is heavy. Yeah. Wow. My first Ono. Woo! Look at that. Look at that thing. One thing about these is they have really sharp teeth. I don't know if you can see those, but. Little razor sharp teeth. This thing is massive. Trolled all the way down to where the palm trees end. And then Cameron hooks up to one fish. We land it. And about 10 minutes later, we got a double hookup. One on the Rapala, another one on the hand line. The one on the hand line jumped completely out of the water and uh, missed it. And then I slowed the boat down. And then sped it up and we hooked up again. There's like 100 dolphins too, just swimming at the bow of the boat for like 30 minutes. It was, it was magical. Just like this. Wow! Dude, look at that. That was a rainbow if I've ever seen one. There's a rainbow over the Kwai. That is so epic. What a magical evening. There's like flying fish skittering across the water. They're cruising like a couple hundred feet over the surface of the water. It's amazing. Sunset coming in was just unreal. Caught a, the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. It, it's gonna be delicious sushimi with some red wine on the yacht over there. Now this rainbow with the kawaii. Can't beat it. My first Ono. Our first mountain bottom. Laying it fresh.
shape, Willie. Uh, about the day. About the fish. About the fish are. Oh. That's excellent. Mm. This guy's a, a good fisherman. Fisherman. How about, mm. the, how about the day? How about, was your day? Oh, it's a fine day. I, I'm very happy now because we're going to have uh, what you call it uh, sashimi. sashimi. Sashimi tonight with a, with a good uh, fish. Good fish. Fish. And how do you say that type of fish? Oh, that's, that's one we call in our language is uh, the bara. The bara. The bara. Mm. The bara. That's the name of that fish. Here in Kiribati. Bara. So, Cameron, you're, all, you're rolling? Oh, yeah, we're right. rolling. We caught this fresh wahoo today. Or, oh, oh, no. Oh, God. But it's really tapara in tapara. Kiribati. And uh, I, I sliced up a bunch of this. Um, we've got some pepper right here some pepper seasoning oh yeah. yeah and then of course pink himalayan sea salt oh that's the best very delicious because the fish is so fresh you don't need very much to make it taste good exactly and this pan nice and hot with some oil you're all toasty nice and toasty i'm learning how to cook this stuff as we speak throw it on the pan like that. Mm -hmm. As soon as I put it on though, I gotta put some salt and pepper on it. Oh yeah, that's the seasoning, some salt and pepper. And we're having sushimi. This guy's making Ooh. pokey on top of that, right? It's uh, in the freezer cooling off right now. We gotta have pokey nice and cool. Pokey over rice with some ono on the side. Ooh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Center. Over. Oh, sorry. Come over. Over. I think you the button. I would love to come, but uh, maybe, maybe a different night because I think I think Ben's already asleep, and and I'll be asleep soon. For we gotta we got an early start tomorrow. Over. Congratulations on becoming the new captain. Thank you. Thank you. Over. That's the oh, that's the Himalayan sea salt. Himalayan sea salt here. Oh yeah. The key is like not to overcook the fish. You gotta have some rawness in the middle, huh? Yeah, you wanna you wanna flip it. You always can get more on one side and you flip it to the other side. So our fair exchange is Simono for some excellent white wine and I, I think you guys have the upper end on the on the <laughs> the wine. <laughs> I don't know. We, we haven't can, seen a lot of fresh fish lately, but I guess you guys get that a lot around here. Oh yeah, we, we can provide the fish, but to provide the wine around here is Not a, a lot of that around extravagancy. Here. It's fantastic. Have you thought about planting grapes with your, with your other stuff? Oh yeah, no, grapes are... Why don't we make a vineyard here in uh, Kiribati? Oh yeah, vineyard on its fish. way. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. White, white. wine and White wine and white fish. Put some pepper on that and fish. And some pepper. Grind it on a fine grind. Oh. Wine is there Look at that. Class. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pokey. Fresh fish pokey. Not today. Shit. Look at no. that. Oh my oh, god. So it might be a little low light, but we got some pokey no, right. and right. some cooked and then rice. That's oh yeah, there now we got some light on there. There's soy sauce here if anybody Oh wants my it. god. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome guys. anytime. <laughs> I will I will go out and catch fresh fish <laughs> anytime for a meal like this. We have wine exchange in exchange for some Ono and Oh, oh my god. This is life. This is it.